Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig, and I'm joined again by my wife, Brenna. Today, we have the Ariat Cardin H2O Shadow. Let's get into it. Old boots got soul, and I carry on this way, and we get better. All right, before we start this video, I wanna let you guys know that this is not a sponsored video. However, Ariat has sponsored a lot of videos on this channel, but it's still something that you should know. We're not going to let those previously sponsored videos affect this review. So let's open up this box and check them out. Tell me twice. Whoa! <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> oh wait, you can't see anything. This is a tall boot, Brenna. You know, it's 17 inches tall. Whoa! Well, before I uh, get too deep into it, we have to do the rundown. In the shadow color, the Nubuck Leather Foot and Shaft. Shadow. Shadow. And that is gonna be 100% waterproof, which is actually pretty cool. Yeah, that is really cool. I really like a fully waterproof boot living in a place that has a lot of weather. Springtime, fall time, we got rain, we got slush. Winter time, we got snow. And I got 17 inches tall here, making sure that I don't get any water anywhere. On this side, you can see we've got the YKK metal zipper, nothing super exotic, I'd say. They use this on a lot of their boots. It's also on your area Legacy Arto booties. Right, exactly. And on the back, we also have this like stretch panel which I kind of like because that means that it's gonna fit my calf, which we all know is usually a problem. It's a problem for a lot of people out there. A pretty small one inch stacked heel going on here. I did not expect to see that. Now it might just be bonded leather, but still a lot of times on Ariat boots, they run a block heel and then sort of paint lines on here. This appears to be a real stacked leather heel. It looks good, It honestly. does look really it good. It really adds to the aesthetic value mm -hmm. of this boot. I like the fact that they're also only a one inch heel yes. because it's important if you're going to be in those wet weather, nasty slushy conditions, that it's not too high uh, to make you slip. You know, you're gonna be able to stand on your feet all day long in a shorter heel. Yep. So I like the fact that they left that at only an inch high. Me too. It's something where I would choose this over the Freebirds that I have the Cosmos because those are leather sole with a three inch heel. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty much gonna kill myself wearing <laughs> those out if it's icy, but these yeah. I feel like I might have a chance in. So these are the, the Dura Tread mm -hmm. rubber outsole and they feel pretty uh, intense. They feel like they're gonna get the job done. Yeah. Honestly. And DuraTread is a technology that the Ariat uses on a lot of their boots. It frequently looks different, but it's just the, I guess the composite material that they use here that, that makes it the DuraTread and not the look of it itself. Check out this like nice plaid lining. These are built for the fashion ladies of fall. <laughs> Okay, basic ladies, I can be one of y'all sometimes. <laughs> and I just like, you know, something that looks good. It looks good on the inside. We've got the little, what is it, pigskin on the top. It looks like it, yeah. Um, with a little trendy plaid. I appreciate that. I think it's a cute touch. The fact that it's not all leather lined should hopefully keep this at a lower price point. It's also cloth lined at the foot as, as well. So it should keep your foot a little bit warmer too. Yep, but it does have that nice ATS insole. Except in this boot, it's removable. Ooh, I kinda like that. Yep, it's pretty standard ATS. It looks pretty uh, much like a lot of others, except it does have a nice like cloth felt lined top. It's like suede feeling. Yeah, a lot of ATS insoles don't usually have that topper. So that's kind of a nice little bonus to you ladies out there that us men really don't get in our ATS removable insoles. It feels really nice. I'm, yeah. I'm excited to wear it. I think there's a few things that you do have to be careful of. Like this back elastic is not gonna be waterproof. 
So if I'm really splashing in a puddle here, the back is obviously going to seep through. We'll have to test it out in the extended test to see like how deep of a puddle they can we'll handle without we'll you test. getting hypothermia. <laughs> we have the Atlantic Ocean like within, I don't know, an hour away. So we might have to go walking around in there. And by we, I mean you. Comment below if you want to see Jeremiah <laughs> walk in the Atlantic Ocean in some of these fine boots back here and not me. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. But anyway, I don't think that these would be, these are not approved for riding. Mm -mm. So no horseback riding, but walking in the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. Could be approved. Is that where this video will go? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> you want to try these boots on and get your first impression? Yes, All yes right, I do. Alright, let's do it. They are tight. They are really tight on my calves. These are for tall people who weigh zero pounds, honestly. <laughs> like this is, um, I want to say almost uncomfortably tight and I have the thinnest jeans I own on underneath and really thin socks. Um, and when I mean tight, I mean like tight on the calf. The elastic on the back is pretty much like stretched to the max. And I'm sure over time these would like stretch to fit my calves a little bit more. They would be a little more comfortable. I think if I didn't have jeans on, if I was wearing like a dress or something, maybe it would be a little bit more um, comfortable because it would be even like a few millimeters less of fabric in there. But as they stand right now, they're pretty tight. <laughs> But the foot bed actually feels really comfortable. There's plenty of room in the foot. These are a six and a half. They almost feel a little bit big, maybe like a quarter size too big. Mm -hmm. And I can't wear them with thicker socks because then the calf isn't gonna fit. It's a little bit awkward, if I'm honest. Like there's a lot of flexibility in the foot and then the ankle, but that calf, the upper like, few inches is really like squishing. It's like <sighs> pulling it all together. And we'll see how they wear in the extended test. They look cute. I think they look really good. I wish they were a little bit more comfortable on the calf because the comfort level in the foot is really nice and they look really good. So if they were just a little bit more comfortable on the calf, I feel like I would wear these all the time. All that being said, let's go to the extended test and see what happens. We headed to downtown Boston on one of the rainiest and windiest days that we've seen so far this year to test the durability of these boots. And we stopped by the mall as well to get some good urban shots, do some window shopping, and get some cute little holiday shots as well. Then we headed back out into the storm to test how waterproof these Cardin boots actually are. Just as I noticed, we want age when we're young and youth when we're grown. Then played a song from home, and I heard voices in the overtones. Yes, hello, old friends, you've had much to defend. Come in and dry off for a while. Let's talk where to begin, and I'll pack up my things and ready for every mile. Thanking voices. In the overtones. All in all, the Cardin H2O seemed to be a very good boot for splashing around in the wet and rain, and could definitely be a good choice for those of you walking around in rainy cities. All right, Brenna, so that was a really fun, but also really cold extended test. It was chilly. <laughs> Thankfully, that camera is waterproof, even though it's a little bit lower quality. It still looked pretty good, in my opinion. What do you think about this in the weather? That was a pretty nasty storm. How did these hold up during it? These kept my feet dry. I mean, they we were jumping in puddles, we were doing lots of stuff. I would say they're not winter boots for sure. Like there's not a lot of lining. There's not like a fleece layer or anything like that. So Were your feet cold? My feet did get a little bit cold towards the end, but it wasn't bad. It uh -huh. was like what you'd expect for a shoe like this. That is really, what it's really shines is for like commuting or 
trips somewhere where you're not necessarily going to be outside for a long time, but you don't want to ruin a boot that is a nice boot because you have to step through snow or you step in a puddle by accident, where if you've got a nice boot and you step in a puddle and you're like, no, now I've got to spend all this time doing boot care. Yeah. Like, not with these, you don't. Um, so I think that's really what they're built for. And they're pretty stinking cute. You sure looked good with them on. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. But you did get some water in your boots, if I remember correctly. Yep. So you can see the back here is this stretch elastic material. And so when I jumped in a puddle, some water did come in kind of through the very bottom of the stretch elastic material, or at least that's what it felt like it came from. I guess I could have jumped in the puddle and splashed so high that it came up over the top of the boot. Roll the clip. <laughs> that was one puddle at one time. We were in and out of puddles and it was raining all day. Yeah. So that's a pretty good percentage. You're mm -hmm. covered on like 90% of your excursions. My feet didn't hurt after walking around in them um, once I had put like my insoles in here. So the real insole that came with the ATS didn't do it for you in the same way that the ATS does it for you in the Legacy Arto. So I think this is just a, a thing that I have. I have super flat feet. So really flat shoes like this um, just hurt my feet after a while. So I just put my orthotics inside of these and there was plenty of room to do that. Normally on a boot like this, I'd have to size up. Um, but there was plenty of instep for me to be able to put my orthotic in there and then my foot felt pretty comfortable in there. Um, with a, a heel on a boot, I typically don't have as much of a problem. My feet don't hurt as much. So it's just um, something that if you have super flat feet or you're used to wearing orthotics, something to take into account. And the back here where the elastic stretched, I noticed in some of the footage, it was really stretchy on your calf, so it allows for your calf to fit in there, but was it enough? It was kind of barely enough. I think if I had tried these on in the store, I probably would not have purchased them just because in order to even get them on, I'm pretty much stretching them to the full width and then trying to like zip them up and my like legs feel like sausages, even though I don't think that I have large calves, right at the top you get the most, but down here you can see how the elastic tapers. So if you've got um, a, th a thicker calf that starts down here, like you're kind of out of luck. Like these are made for a very specific type of leg. And if you fall a little bit outside of that margin, it's gonna be a little bit uncomfortable. At least at this point, they seem to be getting easier every time you put them on, but yeah. it still is a process, a break in period that has taken a couple of weeks at yeah. least. And I think if you're looking for a shoe like this, um, there's a lot of people making them, honestly. Like there's, you don't really have to look that hard to find a like waterproof or water resistant knee high like riding boot. It's not uncommon. Um, I think in the price range, you also have options. I think Sorrel falls within the price range. Um, I know that there's like Aldo used to make some, I don't know if they do anymore. So there's like options. And how do you think this compares to the Sorrel and the Aldo? These are the boots that I was talking about, the Sorrels that are super similar, like side by side, you can see. Same height. Same height, almost the same elastic. I have worn these, like I said, a lot. So you'll see the elastic is a little bit more stretched out, but if you're, so this is a style that I like. It's a style that I'm comfortable with. She has a lot um, of boots like this. <laughs> yeah. And these sorrels, I would say, are just, um, they're workhorses. They haven't let me down. I wore them for two years straight. And in Seattle, you need a rain boot. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, gave them the ultimate test. They have stacked up. I still love these boots. They're awesome. Incredible tread on the bottom of them. Um, I would say that if you're looking for a boot like this, I think these are a little bit less expensive. Um, I think the tread still stacks up. I think as long as you've got that skinny calf, you've got options. So here's the proof that <laughs> <laughs> I've done the research. She has the experience in yeah. these types of boots for yeah, sure. For sure. Especially with living in Seattle yep. for four years. Mm -hmm. So that is the Ariat Cardon. Thank you so much for watching today. Huge thanks for Brenna for going out and just messing around in the rain with me, even though it was really, really cold and we needed to get that footage. But hey, Ariet touts this as an urban, rainy city boot 
So we had to test it in those circumstances. So thank you for that, Brenna. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I'm used to it. I get it. I can recommend these boots. We have tested them. They are awesome. Like I said, a little bit lower price point than the Sorrels. Definitely a thumbs up from me. All right, let us know what you think of the area card and down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Peace, everybody. Have a good one. The Cardins can handle the rain. If you happen to be walking down Maine And you will look good for where you're going And from where you came Thank you so much for watching today. My name is Jeremiah Craig. Huge thanks to my wife Brenna for joining me on this video. You can check out the cartons at the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Peace. Have a good one.